Grand Haven investigators say foul play is not suspected in the death of 29 year old Jeffrey Scarborough. His family last heard from him Saturday when he was leaving a golf course in Muskegon County. Scarborough was found in his submerged SUV yesterday in the Muskegon River near the Creston Road boat launch. Other vehicles have gone into the river there too, despite warning signs. 13 on your side, Lake Show reporter John Mills gives us a closer look. The approach to the boat launch includes multiple signs and this large berm that drivers approaching the river have to avoid. Creston Road is a dead end and the access to the Muskegon River here is unimproved. It's mostly for the launching of small motorized watercraft, canoes and kayaks. And when the river is high, water goes over the banks and spills out onto the gravel road. Road ends right here. These two kayakers say they paddled here yesterday. Searching for turtles, just looking at wildlife. Not realizing a submerged SUV with the body of Jeffrey Scarborough was in the river. We always look in the water and we never see nothing. Since 2000, other vehicles have gone in the river here. An elderly woman who suffered from dementia drowned after driving into the river. A fisherman backed too far into the river with a boat trailer and the current pulled the truck downriver, but he got out. Police say they've pulled stolen cars out that were dumped here. And around 15 years ago, another woman also drowned after driving into the river. Police couldn't determine why her car went in, and they're not sure why Scarborough's did either. They believe it happened shortly after he left a golf course just north of here. The warning signs begin about one mile from the river. This one is 2,200 feet from the water, and this collection of signs is just before the dirt parking area. There's a street light above the launch, and inbound drivers must slow down to go around this berm. Police say foul play is not suspected in Scarborough's death. The results of an autopsy are not yet available. In Muskegon Township, John Mills, 13 on your side.